All right, so John Oliver's epic rant about retirement, the financial industry, and financial advisors was hilarious and spot on. But he left out one important detail, and it's a detail that saved one of my clients hundreds of thousands of dollars in one moment. Find out what that is coming up. Hey folks, I'm Patrick King, financial planner and host of Transformative Television. Uh, here on this channel, uh, we have a soft spot for people who are going through the divorce process, who have lost a spouse or a loved one, uh, or people who are just trying to transform their lives for the better. If that's you or you're in one of those situations, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And uh, if you need financial help through one of those situations, please don't hesitate to give me a call. But in this video, what I wanna do is uh, pick apart a little bit of uh, John Oliver's epic retirement rant and share my thoughts on that and talk about the one thing that I think he missed that saved one of my clients hundreds of thousands of dollars in one moment. Take annuities. Now, certain types of those can be very complicated investment products that have high fees and would only be appropriate for certain types of portfolios. But some financial advisors push them hard. Oh man, annuities. Man, I see these annuities all the time. They get so many fees and they're impossible to get out of. Uh, one thing all the time I find myself uh, working with new clients to figure out ways to get out from under some of these annuity contracts. And, uh, and, and the commissions that these uh, advisors, brokers, insurance agents get paid on these annuities are up to 10% maybe even more of the contract value up front. So if you're selling someone a million dollar annuity, you're gonna get almost a hundred grand? Stupid, no wonder why these folks have an incentive to sell you these things. Now generally, it is currently legal for financial advisors to put their own interests ahead of yours, unless, and this is interesting, they are what's called a fiduciary. Because not all financial advisors are bound to act in your best interest, but fiduciaries are. All right, so here we are with fiduciary again. Y'all are gonna get sick of hearing me talk about fiduciaries, right? There you go. But compound interest works both ways, meaning while your money add up, adds up, your fees can really add up too. Man, fees, fees, all the time. All right, so I did the math behind this particular example using the fees from uh, their retirement plan and compared them to the fees from a, uh, a fee-only fiduciary financial advisor, my, my fees in this case. And what the difference would be for a $1 million investor, let's say you retired uh, with a million dollars, and uh, both portfolios grew the same, at, let's say 7%, just the difference in fees alone over the 30-year retirement would be 1.6 million bucks. Check the math, it's in the show notes below. It's absolutely ridiculous. Fees matter, fees matter. And they're hidden a lot of times, so always check for that stuff. But the problem with active management is that even many Wall Street experts find it difficult to consistently beat the market. Man, act active management. Uh, so active management, uh, if you actually pay attention to the math, it doesn't really hold up. You know, So uh, there are studies that have shown that over a 15-year time period, only 17% of the mutual funds that start that time period beat their index or their benchmark, 17%. And to give you an idea how bad those odds suck, over that same course of time, only 48% of funds survived. 52% went out of business. So you've got a better chance of picking a fund that goes out of business than you do of finding one that's gonna beat the benchmark. Good luck with that. All right, at the end, you know, the, the one thing that I really love that they touched on um, was, you know, they mentioned working with a fiduciary advisor. They worked with, uh, to, to invest in low-cost index funds, Vanguard funds, they mentioned in the, in the video. Uh, but I think the thing that uh, kind of got left on the cutting room floor, along with Kristen Chenoweth, uh, was, was, is there a difference between people who work with an advisor and people who don't? You know, is there a benefit of working with a fiduciary advisor? And uh, there was a study done by none other than Vanguard on this topic. 
And what they found was uh, the, the, the clients that worked with a fiduciary advisor tended to see 3% more return than those that didn't in a given year. Now, of course, individual years varied, but what they saw is over time, they averaged 3% more per year. Now, we talked about the little bit in fees that made a huge difference. 3% is ridiculous. So, you know, what, what were the factors that were involved in this 3%? What were, the, what were the things that those advisors were doing to get that extra 3% that the clients that worked with them uh, saw? Well, the two biggest uh, were... Uh, behavioral coaching and spending strategy in retirement. Uh, the biggest being behavioral coaching. So, and this I think is the most important point uh, of working with an advisor that wasn't mentioned in the video. Um, so, uh, to give you a quick story of, of why I think this makes such a big difference, I want to share with you the experience of a client of mine. Um, I obviously, can't name names, but but this this gentleman, he was an older gentleman. Um, came this was uh, back in the financial crisis, and he all, he came in. He almost picked the bottom of the market. This was March two thousand and nine. So um, obviously, he's scared. You know, recessions and, and uh, corrections are a normal part of investment, but we we had never seen anything like that before. Stock market's down a lot, but you know his portfolio didn't have uh, a whole ton of stocks in it. It was down a little bit, uh, but you know, but it was not nearly as down as the market in general. So he came in and uh, he wanted to go to cash. He couldn't take it anymore. He had been watching the news and reading the headlines, um, and uh, so he's like, you know, Patrick, we got to go to cash. Um, but uh, it, as unusual as those circumstances were, uh, we, we stuck with our strategy. We had a strategy for a reason. And again, he didn't have 100% stocks, uh, but we stuck with it. And if he had gone to all cash at that moment, he would have locked in his losses forever or until he decided to get back in when it was safe. So, uh, so we stuck with the strategy. Fast forward a year later. He comes back in, his portfolio is way up, and we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. But in that one moment, we decided to stick with our strategy. We kept his, his money invested and it allowed it to participate fully in that recovery when the market bounced back uh, in March of 2009. And of course, it did nothing but go up uh, with a couple of blips uh, since then, which has been kind of ridiculous. So not only did he, um, did he benefit by not locking in hundreds of thousands of dollars of losses in that one year. But that growth also compounded over time too, as the market continued to go up and he continued to participate in it. So that behavioral coaching thing is, is the biggest benefit as, as uh, evidenced by the Vanguard study, and it could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's where that uh, advisor alpha comes from. And I think one of the important points of working with a fiduciary fee-only advisor that wasn't uh, that wasn't included in that video. Of course, that story is not quite as hilarious as his, um, but it's a true story and it's real dollars. So, all right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click like below, uh, consider subscribing, uh, leave us a comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, so until next time, I'm Patrick King. This is Transformative Television. Take a deep breath. You got this. Cheers. You know, I totally have an elf spotting degree now. Thanks, John Oliver. <laughs>